you become a living sacrifice thirdly when you share your resources to meet kingdom needs we read in acts chapter 2 and verse 44 how when all the pilgrims had gathered in pentecost when they had gathered in jerusalem they had to be taught the word of god and the gospel before they spread out to other parts of the world there was a limited time for them to do that and so the strain financially with physical resources very high and the people in jerusalem they gave off everything they had and they didn't even put a name tag on their belongings book of acts in chapter 4 we read at a time when there was persecution in jerusalem and there were great needs again the christians did the same thing they sacrificed their resources when you sacrifice your resources for mission and evangelism you are a living sacrifice and i want to thank those of you over the years who have given at great sacrifice for all the wonderful things that god has done we had a workers meeting last week and when they were telling talking and testifying about the new places that are opening up the new churches that are being planted the new people who are being touched the wonderful things that god is doing they could never have done it unless we had started our seminary and trained them and supported them and sent them out how did that happen because some people sacrificed and their sacrificial giving was the key every time you give your resources for the advancement of the kingdom of god you are a living sacrifice and give thanks to god that he has enabled you to do that fourthly and this is very important in societies like ours you are a living sacrifice when you sacrifice your status in order to do menial jobs in the kingdom in the book of acts in chapter 6 we read that there was a particular need in the church in jerusalem there were widows and they had to be fed and taken care of they needed some waiters and they chose seven men and these guys were not ordinary people nikano nicholas philip and stephen stephen was an educated man how do we know that read his sermon in the seventh chapter i mean you read stephen's sermon before his martyrdom you will realize that stephen knew a lot about the word of god about the kingdom of god and in a hierarchical society where status is important it's of paramount importance that we understand what it means to be a living sacrifice in asian and african societies status position and title is important may not be important to you but it's important how many of you realize that you know that that's true and people of a certain status don't do certain jobs right or wrong you don't pick up the paper that is there on the floor and put it in the dustbin somebody else will do it in the early church the society was more status oriented than we are nevertheless when it came to work in the kingdom of god those people of high status were given one of the most menial jobs and the qualifications were you had to be, be filled with the holy spirit and a man of wisdom and they went around taking the buckets and the plates and served the widows every time you step out of your of the globule of your status to serve god and his people you become right don't say to yourself because that's actually obnoxious to god if you say to yourself i am so and so i hold such a job i can't do this remember from last sunday what the church is god puts a high value on the church it is the house of god the church of the living god the pillar and ground of truth 
I know it's difficult for us to process stuff like that. But here's where much of the problem lies in the church, in societies where status is a big thing. And the day that people of high status realize that you have to step out of that and do the most menial task in the church, in the kingdom, there will be a great revolution. I thank God for all of you. And there are many of you here who are not trapped by your status and by your position. You are not aborting what God wants to do in your life because you realize that it is more important for you to be a living sacrifice than to preserve your status. But every time you sacrifice your status and do the menial ministries, quote unquote, for the kingdom of God, you are reinforcing the fact that you are a living sacrifice.